Hi everybody, this is Boaz Fowler and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for January 18th, 2016. What a wonderful energy to start the week week. We have a moon exalted in Taurus and it's doing all these things in the skies and it's talking and conversing to other planets today in the most beautiful way. So this day really has high potential. If you use it well, it could really work for you on many different planes, both business planes and career planes and interpersonal and personal planes. So let's talk a bit about what's going to happen in the sky. We're starting the day with a trine to Pluto. It's about 9 a.m. Central European time. It's about 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, way past your bedtime. And this aspect really could make us deal better with challenges in our lives and find or rekindle that fire within us and understand our strength again. And we go on with a sextile to Chiron at about 1300 hours Central European time. That's about 700 hours morning time, Eastern Standard Time. An aspect that could make us be satisfied with the way we deal with places in which we feel stuck or hurt in for a very long time. Then there's a trine to Mercury at about 1400 hours uh, Central European time and about 800 hours morning time, Eastern Standard Time, that could really allow us to converse and communicate ourselves a lot better to the people around us and really have conversation and communication flow within this day in a better way, even though Mercury is still retrograde. And all these aspects create like a, a trine in the sky, a very beautiful trine, and they work together and heighten the positive energy that there is in the sky today. Now, all this is, end, is, is, you know, the topping on the cake is the trine to Jupiter that's going to be around 2100 hours Central European time, about 1500 hours Eastern Standard Time. Really, a lot of benevolence, a lot of optimism, and a lot of um, courage and optimism come from that trine. The only thing is, is that there's a Queen Conx, to Venus at about 2300 hours if you're up that late Central European time or 1700 hours Eastern Standard Time which could really make us feel a little bit unsatisfied and a little bit uh, maltempered so put it in context don't get too excited one more thing I wanted to talk to you about before we leave there's a square between Venus and Jupiter in the sky and that square could make us want fattier, richer uh, foods or just spending money on ourselves for sensory delights. So just be careful with that. And one more comment about the videos in general. You know, I'm talking about the weather in the skies. I'm talking about the energetical field in the sky right now and the potential that things have. How these things affect you really connects to your natal chart and how it sits with the planets that you have in your natal chart. So some people can be affected uh, uh, from some aspects more than others. And of course when I'm saying this is a positive day, this is just the weather, this is just the potential. And you could either utilize it or try and connect to it or it could, it could also sometimes work against you if it sits in a very sensitive part of your natal chart. So I hope these general descriptions of the day are just general descriptions for you because we all have free will and free will is much stronger than anything else. So whenever I say something you don't take it from, for granted and you know that nobody else can decide how your day is going to become. So even if we talk about hard aspects, you always have the ability to overcome them and to not touch them at all. So I hope this pours a little bit more understanding into astrology in general, into forecasting in general, and, and, uh, and the daily forecast as well. Thank you for listening and I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.